To a health alert for you this morning. You know, most of us know it as the cruise ship virus because it spreads like wildfire in close quarters. Norovirus is the leading cause of vomiting and diarrhea. Kaylee O'Kelly joining us now in the studio. And Kaylee, this could be the reason why more than 100 kids at Hopi Elementary in Arcadia are homesick. This yes. sounds... I feel for the terrible, parents. right? Awful. And this is the terrible. violent vomiting thing. You hear that alone, and then yeah. you hear oh, more than 100 kids. It's worrisome. And that's why we're talking about it here on ABC 15 Mornings on the CW61 Arizona. I did reach out to Scottsdale Unified School District about this. They say the school nurse noticed an uptick in the number of teachers at Hopi Elementary School who were out sick, and the kids too. So then an email was sent home to parents, which says in part this, we have seen an increased number of Hopi students experiencing symptoms of illness, and that does include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and low-grade fever. Per the CDC, the most common cause of these symptoms is the norovirus. Well, our ABC 15 Health Insider, Dr. Janice Johnston, says the norovirus is highly contagious, but very rarely serious. Is it rare to see norovirus in schools? It's not, and so as uh, it, it can spread, especially through children, quite quickly, um, and uh, it, it's uh, it's it's something that comes in waves. So we definitely do see it, um, and you know, people sometimes they don't call it by the name of norovirus. It might not have been tested and specifically diagnosed to come from this virus, but it is a very common thing to cause symptoms of the stomach flu. If your child's feeling unwell, make sure you to keep them home, keep them hydrated. And, uh, you know, if, if there's an outbreak uh, in your in your particular classroom that you're concerned about, I would certainly reach out to your to your teacher, reach out to your school for more information and maybe limit play dates for a couple days. Yeah, probably not a bad idea, especially as it, as it goes through um, quite quickly with children. I know so many questions, right? I hear it takes up to, well, she tells me it takes up to three days to really just clear it out of your system. To keep your family healthy and not have to go down that road, Dr. Johnson says hand sanitizer really isn't as effective as hand washing with soap and warm water. And she also says, just keep your family well hydrated. By the way, a friend of mine, Justin, just texted me, her kids go to this school. And she said yesterday, more kids were coming back to school and feeling a lot better. So it sounds like, uh, the kiddos and the families are doing what they can to wash those hands and stay safer. This is the one virus that I am incredibly afraid of getting. Yes, like right? Strep throat. I mean, I, I mean, not that I want strep, but I would take strep throat, a cold, any day. I do not think you are alone on that. Oh, okay. well, best of luck to those families. Yes. That have all of those sick kids at home. Thanks, it's so Kelly, true. You one. bet. Break out the hand sanitizer. Do we have any? We need so, warm water and soap. I'll bring that out to you. Yeah. We're gonna, during the commercial break. So in the meantime, the latest data from the CDC shows norovirus positivity rates